By now, I've already posted videos on how to inspect hives, what tools you need, and even the expenses of starting beekeeping. If you haven't seen those yet, go check them out sa mga previous uploads ko. Today in this video, I want to focus on something different, what you'll usually see inside a colony. This is especially for beginners kasi madalas talaga nakakalito sa umpisa. Minsan, mapapatanong ka na lang na normal ba to? Or ano bang ginagawa ng bee na ito? Or may problema ba? So in this video, I'll walk you through what to expect when looking inside a hive. The first clip is what we call a food frame that has mostly pollen in it. Pollen has different colors, usually white, red, yellow, orange, and light green. Most of the time, nas nasa pinakagilid nakaposition yung mga food frames. Not always, but usually. This is also a food frame, pero yung laman this time is honey. Unsealed honey to be exact, hindi pa pwedeng harvest. If hindi pa honey season, it's uncommon to see this much honey in a frame. Usually sa sides lang ng frame makikita mo na may honey. But during honey season, expect that frames will look like this. This is another food frame but this time it's a combination of pollen and sealed honey. This one's called a brood frame, specifically closed brood. Most of the cells here are filled with baby bees. This stage, they're pupae, sealed, and getting ready to emerge soon. When a frame looks like this, it's a good sign that the colony is strong, lalo na if the laying pattern is solid and well filled. But keep in mind, not all frames will look like this all the time. It doesn't always mean the colony is weak if the pattern isn't perfect. Also, a lot of beginners confuse this with sealed honey. I'll show you what sealed honey actually looks like next. This is a honey frame, a brood frame. Honey, brood. Most of the time, ito yung makikita mo. This is called a mixed frame. It's a combination of brood and food. Since you already saw what a worker bee cell looks like, this time, this is what the queen cell looks like. It is easy to spot because it looks like a hanging peanut. Two reasons why you'll be seeing this. One, a swarm cell. The colony is full and is wanting to swarm. Two, a supersedure cell, which means the current queen is underperforming or sick. To determine which one is which, I will explain in another video. In this clip, I destroyed the queen cell and now you can see the royal jelly. Ito yung special food na binibigay sa mga baby bees na magiging queen and of course the queen herself. Now this photo shows a drone frame, punuto ng drone cells. As you can see, hindi siya peanut shaped like a queen cell pero mas malaki siya compared sa worker cells. These are 1 to 3 day old eggs. On day 1, they stand straight up like tiny grains of rice. By day 2, they start to lean a bit. And by day 3, they are almost laying flat, ready to hatch into larvae soon. So this is the larvae stage. The larvae are surrounded by a milky substance, which is their food produced by the nurse bees. After this stage, they will be sealed in the cell and enter the pupae stage until they emerge as fully grown bees, which will be shown in the next clip. This is an emerging bee, chewing itself out of the cell. Newly hatched bees are distinguishable from the older ones because they have a lighter, almost whitish appearance. They haven't fully darkened yet and their bodies are still soft and fragile. This is the queen bee. Noticeably, she has a longer abdomen compared to the worker bees. This is what she looks like while laying eggs. If you ever see her not moving like in this clip, chances are she's just taking a break. Even while she rests, her royal attendants don't stop working. They're constantly checking to make sure she's clean, healthy, and in good condition. 
This is one of my naturally mated queen. I marked her para madali lang siya hanapin. This is the newly emerged virgin queen. Medyo maputi pa siya and maliit. No marks yet and smaller yung abdomen niya than that of a mated queen. These are drones or male bees. Many beginners often mistake them for queens because they are bigger. Drones have larger eyes almost covering their entire head and a rounder body. One time ay nagsabi sa akin na may limang queen daw siya sa isang colony niya. And knowing that there can only be one queen in a colony, I assume what they saw were drones. And when I checked, drone nga yung tinutukoy nila. Next, I'm going to show you common behavior done by bees and what it means. This first clip shows washboarding, where bees clean the surface by removing debris, dust, and other particles. The next clip features an undertaker bee responsible for carrying dead bees out of the colony to keep the hive clean. As much as possible, they try to throw dead bees or trash far from the colony to prevent disease buildup and avoid attracting predators or pests near the hive. Right now, what you're seeing is guarding. These bees stay near the hive entrance to check incoming bees and defend against intruders. Sila yung security guard ng colony. If you see this, this is called scenting. The bee lifts its abdomen and releases pheromones to help guide returning foragers or lost bees back to the colony. Usually, you see this happen during orientation flights or nagiba yung location ng hive nila, so they alert their fellow colony mates locate the hive by spreading their scent. If you happen to see this kind of frenzy, usually in the morning, sometimes noon or even afternoon, don't worry, that's most likely the bees doing their orientation flights. If walang nag sa entrance and there are some bees scenting and yung lumilipad na bees are just calmly ho hovering around the hive, then that's nothing to worry about. Orientation flights are done by young bees, usually a few days old, para matutunan nila yung location ng colony. They use this time to memorize landmarks like trees, boxes, houses, roof, or, or plants, and the position of the hive so they can return safely after flying out. It usually happens during warm, sunny afternoons and can look like a mini bee party near the entrance, so don't worry at all. This, on the other hand, is fanning. Kung sa scenting nakataas ang puwet ng bee habang naglalabas ng pheromones, sa fanning naman nakababa ang puwet nila and they stay in place while rapidly beating their wings. Fanning serves a few purposes. Most commonly, it's done to help regulate the temperature and airflow inside the hive, especially during hot days or when the colony is trying to evaporate moisture from nectar to turning it into honey. Yung colorful round things na nasa legs ng bees, yan ang pollen. As I mentioned earlier, iba-iba talaga ang kulay niya depending sa flower source. Dito sa clip, makikita mo na paikot-ikot yung bee sa mga cells. Actually, naghanap siya ng cell kung saan niya pwedeng i-drop off yung pollen niya before siya lalabas ulit at mag-collect. Tapos, you can also see here yung tinatawag na waggle dance. This is how bees communicate where a good food source is. Basically, they are teaching the other bees where they found good source of food. The stronger ang bee magshake, the more food there is in that location. This, on the other hand, is not pollen. I'm not 100% sure, but it's likely either propolis or wax that she's carrying. Bees use these materials to seal up small gaps or spaces in the hive that they don't need either for insulation, protection, or simply to keep the hive structure just the way they want it. 
If you do know what this is exactly, please let me know in the comments. Thank you. Marami pa sana akong gustong ipakita like yung mga common diseases and pests ng bees gaya ng varroa mites na makikita sa clip na to. But I will save that for another video since wala pa akong actual clips ng ibang sakit like chalk brood and sack brood. But at least for now, by showing you the most common and normal things to see in a colony, you can easily identify or notice when something is wrong. May ilang bagay pa akong hindi na feature dito dahil kulang pa ako sa actual footage. But once I have them, gagawa, gagawa ulit ako ng video na ganito. Lastly, bago ko tapusin tong video, if you're wondering what this bee is doing or may makita kayong ganyan, there could be a few reasons. Baka naglilinis siya or nagpapakain ng larvae or nire-repair yung cell. But to be honest, habang kinukunan ko tong clip na to, more than 10 minutes na siyang hindi gumagalaw. And the cell was empty. So I assume baka nagpapanggap lang siyang busy para di siya mabigyan ng bagong taas. We really don't know. Let me know if you think so too. See you on the next video. Bye-bye!